Hi guys, uh, in this video we will see how to create an accordion in HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Although we have also a trick to do it with only HTML and CSS, but for simplicity we will first see how to create with the use of HTML, CSS and JavaScript, a little JavaScript, like for any class only. Mm. So let's start it. Now we are taking HTML wall update here. Let's say we have a new class name in accordion. Now let's say we have autumn. And here we have text like uh, let's say as to how CSS works anything else let's see okay yeah this is lorem text okay and uh, a p tag let's see now you open it with your live server so for now it's it's uh, being like this Let's add some style sheet dot accordion. What the RC five hundred pixel? Now it's coming like this. Let's say reduce the title size. So now it's looking fine. And same like this, we have all let's have three cards, three items. Okay, now let's um, take more styling. What a podium dot item adding 20 pixel. Let's open side by side. And uh, see what I do. This box I do. Let's say add the margin bottom also. Bottom forty pixel. And uh, okay. So by default, H one has the border. Let's do it border. Margin, margin, let's say zero. So now this is looking like this. Now we want to open one item at a time. So for that, let's say Cordia P will be display none. Now it's leaving the cards. Now, uh, Let's say I have cursor pointer on item. Cursor pointer now looking like a thumb icon on this. Now we want to open on click. Okay, so for that, on click, we will just add a class on click. Let's select on body document dot query selector dot body now accordion dot query selector all I want to select the all item then for each item click Item dot on click 
I will add an active class and on if active class is added we will show we will display the p tag otherwise we will it will be display none okay so for that we will go to click item dot class list dot eight active and item dot class list dot I will check here if item is not equal to e dot target. The item dot class list dot remove active class. We will just uh, on click of, of on click of any card, we will remove all active class from other parts so that all uh, the current class is only visible. Let's see if it's working fine. So here we are inspecting it, and uh, so let's see when we click what happens. So it's active class is being added, but. All items now say is being removed is not equal to item is not equal to either target. Screen one console what item is coming so okay. So for now it's uh, selecting its child element instead of this instead of this we just adding we will first remove all item all dot class list start remove active class and so here what this code is doing is we are selecting the accordion tag and in the accordion tag we are searching the item the item and for each item we are running this code and for each item on click for each item for on click of each item we are just removing the active class for uh, for all items and we are adding active class on the clicked item and we are removing the active class from other items so now what's happening uh, now let's see it's adding active class only on the current card so yeah now it's working fine so now let's modify the css this css will only hidden if p is not active sorry uh, dot item not dot active if the item has not active class then it will be hidden if it has active class then it will not apply so now it's working like now it's displaying okay let's say it's in transition effect so that's uh, it smoothly works now here we are adding let's say on active item class we are just increasing the padding to add an effect according dot item item dot active we are adding padding 
40 pixel and 20 pixel and also add the transition now see what's working like this so now it's as a smooth transition okay now what happens if we give the body radius border radius to it if you give it the body radius body radius or add pixel it's looking like fine now it's fine uh, we are adding border radius 8 pixel and let's say give the font family as font to family sans serif let's say area now it's looking like good now it's fine for uh, for uh, making it uh, more better we can add uh, positive and uh, negative sign so whenever we click on whenever it is open it shows minus sign and whenever it's close it shows plus sign let's say we add the feature when we click on the active items it's it closes so what happens we just add we are just we just have to toggle toggle the class when you, you click if it is an active class it will be removed and it does when it doesn't have active class it will be added so now okay why it's not working okay what's happening removing all classes and then toggle if it remove all classes then it will be added okay mm. okay this this feature we will see in another video uh, but you can try how to modify this class with JS uh, and everything else is working fine so this was how you can create an accordion and you can modify your CSS according to your style. Okay, thank you.